In this video, we'll be discussing about Major Hurricane Fiona and how it could impact Bermuda and Canada with a historic storm system that could be impacting parts of Newfoundland. Then we'll be discussing about 98L and how it's still forecast to impact parts of the United States in the Gulf Coast. Welcome, everybody. My name is Shopin, and in today's weather forecast video, I want you guys to start being prepared if you live in the Gulf Coast and if you're in Newfoundland, which is currently, which is located right here, and also laboratory as well, as well as PEI, please start taking your precautions, start boarding up and be prepared. And to, this is a serious situation for Canada, as well as the United States with Invest 98L, but we'll be first discussing you guys about her major hurricane Fiona. Major hurricane Fiona is still a category four with winds over 130, but it is starting to move to north and east quite rapidly. It is now moving at 60 miles per hour, and I'll zoom in right to you can see the impact is forecasted to just barely miss Bermuda and impact Canada in the next few days. This is all going to be happening by this weekend. So I want you guys, if you live in Newfoundland, New Bermuda, start preparing. In fact, in Bermuda, some people be already prepared because it might be getting close to you guys by as early as tonight. So we're here at the GFS model tropical dip. It's a little slow because a lot of people are using this website as well as myself because of Invest 98L, but first we'll be discussing to you guys about Major Hurricane Fiona. So it's currently, it is forecast to be 9.53, but as it moves towards northeast, I'll show you where Bermuda is. Right here is Bermuda. It is forecast to just slide to the west of Bermuda, and it will be picked up by this trough, which is forecast to be there. And then it's gonna continue to wrap, to still be strong, strength, I don't know if it'll be this strong, but it's forecast to be at least a category two as it makes landfall in North Canada with a potential historic record low pressure system to be impacting Canada by this weekend and it will be e even potentially a tropical storm near Greenland in the next few days. All right, so now we're looking at you guys, another trop another radar we'll be looking at you guys will be the Canadian model Another one, let's see, I'll first show you guys where Bermuda is, Bermuda is right here. Again, focus, you just barely miss Bermuda as it continues to strengthen and then impact Canada. Same time frame, Saturday, all Saturday, and all Sunday, it will be impacting you guys, it will become, as it moves north, it gets bigger, so the impacts will be actually worse for Canada, and you maybe as far west as Maine, because as it keep moving north in latitudes, these storm systems that are very strong can will expand. And the wind field will be stronger, which means if you're living in Labrador and Newfoundland, you might be getting some historic storm surge as it moves just to the west. And it will also impact Greenland as well. So now we're taking you guys a one more radar model, which will be the Icon. And we'll see what the Icon says. It should be very similar. Here is Bermuda. It will go just to the west of Bermuda, which is because of the trough, which will move it to the northeast, which is why it's moving northeast by now. But then it will start to move back to the northwest. This is an historic 929 millibar storm system. I don't know if it will be that one, but you can tell from back here to where it is here near Newfoundland, it's going to be a bigger storm system with more winds, which will cause more storm surge and more damage because it's bigger storm system will affect millions more people. And then... On top of all, it will impact Greenland. So overall, if you live in Northern Canada, Newfoundland, Prince Edward Island, all that region, start be prepared for a rough weekend with strong winds. And if you live up by the coast, be prepared for some storm surge and heavy rain. And Bermuda, start be prepared by tonight. All right, everybody, we'll be now talking to you guys about Invest 98L, which will be the most of the video. So this is Invest 98L. It is currently in 48 hours, an 80% chance, and in the next five days, 90% chance. As you can see, it is located right here. We'll zoom in right now. There's a little bit of a shear that's preventing it from getting very strong on the southern side and in the eastern side, but it's already developed pretty well. And in the next two to five days, we'll have a storm system as it moves closer and closer towards Jamaica. All right, we're back here with the tropical tidbits weather. We'll be looking at the GFS, all the models, wanted to see what they're forecasting. 
this is more for next week so if you guys live in the southeast or any of these places it's seven to ten days out so we'll look at it which anything could change so gfs i'll just let you know it's a little bit more west than the model loads will show you today the trend has been a little bit to the east and if the eastward trend continues, it may not even impact the United States. But let's got to see. This is Friday. This is pretty much tomorrow. It will become a tropical storm near Jamaica, just south of Jamaica. This is a, the most western track we'll see. Most of it is moving right over the middle of Cuba, which is kind of a good thing because in Manila, but there's a lot of bounties up there, so it might be a hard time to develop. But... This one, another reason why is the cold front and there's a trough that's forecasting to come down south. All the models are hinting that it's going to be moving to northeast as it gets closer to the United States. We will have to see how it is. This one is showing a major hurricane continues to be near Florida and impacts in Alabama. But we don't know. It could be anywhere in the Gulf. That's just one model one with a major hurricane impacting the United States. So we're looking at another one, which would be the Canadian. Let's see what the Canadian model says for this potential hurricane. Again, it's forecasted to be here at 1,006 millibars. And then it'll go near the island of Jamaica as a tropical storm. It'll go over Cuba as a hurricane. And this one's forecasted by Tuesday to impact South Florida as a Category 1, maybe a Category 2. The storm system, the way it moves to the northeast and hugs the coast of Florida and impact the Carolinas. But we don't know if that's true. I mean, it's just showing you that there's an opportunity for a hurricane to impact the United States. But we'll have to continue to see how everything plays out. We'll look at the icon model real quickly as well. Here's the icon model. Showing you guys a tropical depression, a low pressure system. It will have a hard time forming near form near Jamaica uh, like uh, everything again moves right over central Cuba as a category one and also impacting South Florida as well near Miami before it moves to north and east and it will strengthen and we'll see what happens from there for the next seven days ten days if you're living in Florida especially Cuba start being on alert anywhere in the south because we don't know the trend's been a little bit east for them wait and see and continue to see what it will say so let's quickly look at the what tropical tip it's showing guys for different storm systems and how it could impact Florida all right here we go so we're gonna be looking at this all right so guys that's for thanks for watching sorry about that but thanks for watching everybody if you guys are living in the southeast, anywhere in the southeast and the Gulf, be, uh, be, be prepared for what could be a, a hurricane. Just be prepared for what could Invest 98 L will be. And if you're living in Canada, my heart, thoughts and prayers are with you guys. I'll catch you guys for another video that will be uploaded tomorrow. And we'll see what the na newest trends are going to be for invest 98 out so hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe and like the video i'll catch you guys for another video enjoy the rest of the day everybody